Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sanshna. In today's video, I will be doing a walkthrough of the Confetti Paper Studio 2023 Planner Collection. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, the number of people who sent me this particular uh, brand link, oh my god, it was like, it's the most requested video to do i think i'm not really sure this is a new brand that i've come across i don't know if they had a planner before or if if this is their first time launching planners but it looks re really really nice i love the colors i love the whole uh you know the first look on the website here it looks pretty great and nice so let's have a look oh my god all of the cover designs are so so nice i think I think it's really really pretty i just love it i like this the most cafe love uh, houses and like cafes it looks so nice and and the color palette too it is it's, it's just so pretty it's, it gives a very whimsical and nice vibe so here is the planner cover design and then by the way currently they have uh, they're open for pre-orders uh, so we'll we'll walk over those details later. Let's look at what we get inside the planner. So here you have the intro page. I think this is a nice spot to add a picture of yours. Um, then a note from planner, uh, the company. I love it when brands do it. I've told I've told this multiple times, but I think it's really great. Then you have a page for affirmations and visualizations, dreams and ideas. I don't know if this is the vision board page or if this is separate from vision board uh, that we get to use it. Love it. I like the minimalness uh, of it, if that's the right word, with just some slight, you know, uh, illustrations that are going on. I think this is like my dream uh, visual of a planner page. I like to have a little bit of decorations, not in the weekly pages, rest of the planner, I love it. And then I like to have my plain space so that I can customize it however I want. I hate when there are sections because sometimes we don't need as many sections um, as they give. Then you have my word for the year, which I also do every year. I don't do so many words. I just do like one entire word for the year. So this is quite nice. I think this is more like intentions uh, rather than word of the year, but it's great. It is really great. I have done this in 2021 as well as 2022 intentions. You know, there are certain things what I want to let go of and what I want to adopt in my life and all that. So if you haven't watched those videos, then definitely give it a watch. It's a great idea to, you know, do at the beginning of the year or any time, really. Then you have goals and steps to achieve them. Personal goals, work goals, health goals. Really nice. I'm glad they kept it simple. I usually do, like, I, I do a little bit more than these categories, but I think um, having just these three is fine too then you have the special days to remember this is quite nice as well the new quotes and fresh artwork every single month so this is sort of the monthly cover pages um it's a little bit plain but i think i think it gives it sort of goes with the theme that they have then you have a monthly calendar view love it it looks so nice i like that it's a monday start they've kept it minimal they've highlighted holidays and then you have a sidebar to like how i think it's just enough enough decorations enough color it's not overwhelming uh, but at the same time you know like you have all of these empty boxes so that uh, it's it's quite clear and you need not really worry about it then you have habit tracker it is a lot of habits to track by the way like 12 habits uh, but it's nice it's nice that there is a habit tracker if it was a little bit minimal i think it would have been nice then you have a budget tracker okay date expenses amount spent fixed expenses okay we, we were talking about this yesterday right how uh, budget planners get a little bit complicated and for expenses that are variable uh, it's a little bit different you know the way you plan for it and the way you track it so it's nice that they have separated um, the fixed expenses and variable expenses and also they have not called it the budget planner it's called the budget tracker so that is apt um, here you have 
okay we have two layouts for you to choose from so either you can pick uh, a daily layout or a weekly layout so it this one looks like it's a daily layout and here you have a schedule um main goals and to-do list it's nice that they've divided the checklist so you can write your priorities up at the top and then you can write remaining of your to-do list then work and business health home health and wellness notes section then you have your schedule from six o'clock until 11 o'clock um it's nice i i personally use like these kind of a planners wherein we have schedule on the days that i'm extremely busy and i need a visual outlook of how the day would look like and what are my prior commitments so that i can plan my remaining tasks outside that but i don't know if i want to use it every single day and especially when you're using multiple planners i think this can get a little bit complicated and weekends are pretty simple they've taken off the schedule and they've kept the remaining section and also they've taken off work and business let's have a look at the weekly uh, schedule so here it is i think i prefer this i actually prefer this more than the uh the daily schedule if i were to choose the choose the planner from this brand i would have definitely picked this one and it is also nice that they've, comp they've left it completely plain i see many brands like starting to uh complicate these sections like just leave it plain i think it works or add lines or add dots the ink picket 2 uh had especially in 2022 i don't know how it looks in 2023 because when i did the walkthrough it was completely lined which i liked it but then i go back to the website now and i look at it and that time they have it very similar to what we have for this year that is half line and half dot grid um it's fine but i would have preferred it to be completely in one form and also in the Tatiana's planner, we have a checklist uh, this year with, I think, four checklists. So I just like that this is pretty plain and nice. Then we have this notes section, weekly goals, to-do list, and all of that. And also the, the headers are quite, like, uh, it. it's not really overpowering the spread so you can easily cover it up and use it for whatever you want to in case you don't want to use it uh, as they have given i think i'm really liking this layout it looks so nice oh my god there are like so many new planners coming and i'm just i'm feeling that fomo i just feel like getting everything last year i was pretty sure about which brands i want to buy and my intention was to show you uh, the planners that are really popular and that are like go-to choices for people so that you can I can share my review and you can see uh, what the reality of the planner is exactly because on the website sometimes it looks a little bit different. This year my motto is to try different planners that I have never uh, tried before and it's I'm liking almost everything I'm seeing and that is too bad. It is too bad because... First of all, it costs a lot of money. And then second, um, what would I use it for? Because the current system I have, yeah, what I was saying is the current system is working fine for me. Probably I might, uh, you know, change a few things here and there and change the layouts that I'm using or the way I'm doing these things. But the number of planners, I think it's working fine for me. So I'm really feeling that FOMO because they are all like so pretty and so nice. I just hope they live up to the, uh, you know, in terms of quality, I hope they live up to the hype that's going on. And then you have meal planner. So you can use it to plan or track your meals and nice. I like to have a separate planner for this just because, you know, I already buy them to show it to you guys. So why not use it for different purposes? And it, it helps me compartmentalize uh, for my focus in different areas of my life. But it's great. It's great that it's included in the planner itself. Probably if I wouldn't have had a YouTube channel, I would have just used... Uh, I would have I would have used multiple planners because I was even before I had a channel. Um, I think two minimum I would use, probably like three. But uh, if I already had this section in my planner, I wouldn't have bought another planner for this um then you have monthly review then design okay monthly review plans beautiful notes pages for each month so it says design your dream year i think okay this is before january starts anyways here uh monthly review you have uh favorite moments accomplishments to celebrate just a sec i'm a little bit confused design your dream year 
Um, I don't really know if it's before, it doesn't look like it's before January. So you might get it at every year, but I don't, I mean, every for every month, but I don't really know if you actually need it. But anyways, because it's plain, you can use it, um, you can use it for any other section too. Then you have the monthly review section. It looks nice. I just like how they've kept it plain, like no lines and nothing. Um, and these are all the planner covers and yep. Here it is, and we have some uh, sections here. So daily layout. Let's see if weekly layout price if the price changes. Oops. No, the price remains the same. It is one triple nine, and in terms of cover, you have wire bound with laminate. Um, this one I don't really prefer. I don't think many Indian planners actually do laminate covers. Uh, most of them have that thick, you know, that hardcover one. Laminate ones, if you're not aware, the only planner that comes to my mind is um, it's actually two planners, the Happy Planner ones and the Erin Condren ones. I have never used Erin Condren. I've used Happy Planner. Laminate covers is like, it's not my cup of tea. I would prefer like what other brands offer, which is hardcover, but it's good that they have it. And also the price really doesn't change. So no matter which layout you pick or which um, cover, de cover design or like the cover material you pick, the price remains the same, which is kind of nice. And then can you add, pers oh, you can also add personalization. Let's see if we can... I don't really see where this personalization comes. Uh, I think it might come on the cover, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, but it's great that they're adding uh, personalization. I would add my name or year or my word for the year. Something like that. Something that sets your mood for the entire year. Then they've given little details about their collection. The planner size is 7.5 by 9 um this one 7.5 by 9 it's definitely larger than um a5 but i don't think i think it might be b5 it's not a4 or a5 it might be b5 i guess then it makes it convenient for those who keep it at home or work as well uh or if you need to take it on the go then it is to help create a well-designed life that is nice I, i'm really liking this planner it's definitely going on my wish list there are other priority uh, sorry there are other planners uh, that i am prioritizing because uh, those planners have worked for me in the past and in those areas of my life i don't really want to experiment with things but this is definitely going on my wish list and i'll see um, I have place for one more planner, so you never know, you never know, but yeah, I'm really liking it, um, but there's no paper quality given, so I might like send them an, a message on Instagram and check if the paper quality is good, let's see, but um, yeah, anyways, anyways, this is, this is a nice planner, I really liked it, let me know what you think about it and um oops where did the let's go back to the planners it looks like they have a lot more products too okay here you have all the planners so the pre-orders from 18th to 28th of october all orders placed during that time will receive our pre-order freebies okay this is great but they have not given any details about the freebies i actually don't think they have um nope they have not given uh, details about any freebies. So if you really liked it, then go for it. I think it's a really good planner. Make sure you're, you're checking the uh, the paper quality with them before you pick though, if, if that is something that matters to you. For cover designs, I think everything looks pretty. I, I love this. I think this is my favorite. And I like this too, like for workplace glam. So if you're using it as your work planner, I think the daily layout for work planner sounds pretty good because if you have if you're working in a job that has a lot of meetings and you know certain time bound things every single day i think that's a, that is really great and um it's even the planner cover sort of depicts work so that's nice i i like this as well you know uh, the wild animal ones uh, the plush one is nice the black one is nice too then these stripes is good as well this i don't really like it but other than that 
uh, all the other you know covers look really really pretty so yeah guys thanks a lot for all of you who sent me this brand and also if you have any other recommendations uh, that i uh, planner recommendations that you want me to do a walkthrough on then definitely let me know you can comment down below or you can send me a message on instagram my instagram link is in the description box so yeah, these are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'm really interested to know. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.